Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me. Well, today I get to share with you a project for Spellbinders using one of the brand new collections over at the shop. This one here is by Becca Feakin and it is called the 3D Holiday Vignette Collection. Lots to this collection and I'll list the entire um, collection down below in case you want to see everything. But I'm going to use two products today. What I'm starting off with is called the Grand Christmas Lattice Arch um, Vignette, and it is beautiful. It has a beautiful arch design, and you would think this is an intricate and it would be hard to die cut out, but believe it or not, with your tool in one, it cuts beautifully. I just went forward and back in my Platinum 6 and it die cut lovely. Easy peasy. Um, I was trying to see if it fit on an A2 size card base, and I think it you could create an A2 size card if you trim the left and right side of it. But for today, we're going to make a traditional vignette. Um, I love the 3D layering look. And then um, I wanted to show you how this works. So with a seven piece set, you get the arch wave, you get the side panels, um, sentiment that says away in a manger. And then you also get a snowflake in this set. So all of these work together to create your little picture box. Um, but there's elements. This is what your package will look like if you decide to pick one up. But um, there's also other elements that fit inside this vignette. Um, this one here is called the Nativity Layering Set. And it coordinates with the sentiment, I think, with the Away in a Manger. So we're going to use this one also. This is a three-piece set. It, and it only has the archways that will fit beautifully in the archway to your grand vignette. Okay, so we're going to use both of these and we're going to start off by doing some die cutting and I'm going to use some vanilla colored cardstock. We need a left and a right side panel, so we're going to put these two together, tape them down, and cut out two side panels. And then this we're going to create a background with, so we're going to cut out one of those with white cardstock. And then we're going to take another piece of cardstock and then we're going to layer the archway, the patterned arch panel on the inside. And then we're also going to um, add the away in the manger sentiment. I'm just taping them down to make sure that it's nice and evenly spaced. Um, we're not going to use the outline die for this one, but we'll just line this in the center and then die cut out all of our elements. And like I said, you would think this would be hard to die cut out, especially after you see what it looks like. My goodness, isn't that gorgeous? I just love that. I think it's so pretty and intricate. And I used my tool in one just to roll over the back and all the pieces came out beautifully. Now, when you die, do die cut it out, you want to make sure that the, your little tabs are um, on the bottom of your vignette. And these tabs actually have little slits in them also. Great for tucking in the little tabs for your side. The side panels here have four slits um, on the top and bottom, and those little tabs will fit right into it. There is score lines. I'm just using my bone folder to reinforce those score lines on the left and right of each of my side panels. This is so easy to do, guys, and it's just so neat when you when you finish. <laughs> okay, I'm going to die cut out a few more pieces. We need six pieces total, four for the inside of our vignette, and then one for the top and then one for the bottom. For this one, I'm layering them both together and then I'm going to bring in the nativity layering set. We're going to add a little nativity scene in the center and then run that through. And then we're going to do the same thing, but not with the nativity. We're going to add the star in the center. So these are die cut and all the pieces are punched out beautifully. And you would believe my floor right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, kind of looks like a confetti mess, but I just love the way this looks. It's so worth it. Okay, so, so far we have four pieces, and then um, we're going to color these. You could leave them white for a beautiful, elegant effect, but I thought we'd bring in some Distress Oxide inks and give our, our panels a little bit of color. And I do want some dimension on my 3D vignette, although it does have a lot. I'm going to take the way in the manger and die cut it out with white cardstock. And then this time I'm going to use the outline frame. And then I'm also going to take a piece of silver cardstock 
This one is the Sparkle Trio Specialty Pack from Fun Stamper's Journey. And it's like a matte silver. I'm going to do the same exact thing with the silver piece here. I'm just going to put that in the corner and use my scissors and trim this off. So we're going to have two of the same sentiments that say away in the manger. But these are cut out with the um, arch, archway. Okay, we're just going to remove our die and pop out all the little pieces. And again, it's so easy to do. For this one, I don't even think I had to use my tool in one. <laughs> now, my, my idea is to layer the silver mat behind my white one, but I am going to color in the white one first before we do any layering. Okay, we're going to set these aside. This is basically what it's going to look like. And if you want to do it, leave it just like this, I think it creates a gorgeous, elegant card. But I'm going to add a little bit of color. Okay, so. For my background, I wanted a night sky, so I'm going to bring in my oxide inks with the colors Dusty Concord, Faded Jeans, and Hickory Smoke. I'm going to start off with my Dusty Concord, go over the top portion, and you know it's the top because those two little tabs are towards the bottom. I'm just using my blending brush and doing a little bit of shading. Now really all I had to do was the center portion of this um, because that's basically all you're going to see. But I went ahead and did the whole entire background. Next, I'm going to add in a little bit of the Dusty Concord or, or, well, actually, that's the Faded Jeans over the top. And then on the bottom portion, I added my, my Hickory Smoke. Now, I'm going to add some sparkle using my Sparkle Shimmer Spritz. And you add this to your oxide inks, and it creates a lovely, sparkly background. I want to tilt it up here in just a bit so you could see the sparkle and I just think it looks gorgeous. I didn't want to oversaturate my paper so I'm just dabbing off the excess. But isn't that sparkle gorgeous? So that's my one layer. That's going to end up being my very back layer. Here's my star layer. Now I just wanted to color in the star but I wanted a little bit of the archway to be colored in too. So I was thinking how can we do this? And so I'm taking the arch the solid arch die here and some white cardstock. I'm going to just place it in the middle and die cut this out. I'm going to create my own kind of stencil for my vignette. I'm going to layer it over the top of my star and I'm just going to tape it down with some posty tape. And then for my star panel, I'm going to be using um, fossilized amber. And again, I'm just going to use my blending tool and go over this. And then this one here will be one of the inside layers. And I think it's just gorgeous, the detail that's in here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to use my Sparkle Shimmer Spritz and spray some sparkle on here. And then I'm just going to remove my handmade mask here and then that one's ready to go. So pretty. Okay, for our next one, it's our nativity scene. And I'm going to just do a little bit of shading with my hickory smoke as if they're silhouettes. So I'm going to use my mask, kind of align it up here and then tape it down. And again, using my blending brush and my hickory smoke ink, I'm just going to shade in my background. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to add my um, sparkle shimmer spritz over the top of this when I'm done too going to give all my layers some sparkle. <laughs> and then our little nativity scene is done. Now for my last one, the one we die cut out with the one that says away in the manger, we're not going to color that in. I'm actually going to take the frame that we created and color this in. And I'm going to start off by using my faded jeans. And then I'm just using my mini blending tool. I'm going to use my blending brush and then go around the edges here. Now this was really blue compared to my background and for me I needed it to be a little bit more like my background. So I'm going to bring in Dusty Concord and just kind of add a little purple shading to that blue. And I love the way this turns out. I think it's so pretty. I didn't color in my little holly leaves. For that I'm going to use one of my little blending detail brushes and some peeled paint. And we're just going to color that in. 
adding a little color to this. Okay, so that's our sentiment. Now I'm going to add some sparkle. And then we're just going to clean up our mess a little bit. And we are going to layer our silver frame to our colored in one here, offsetting it just a little bit so that silver is peeking out. Okay, after we have this done, I'm going to add a thin strip of foam tape behind here. I'm going to add a little dimension. I've got to have a card with foam tape. That's just me. <laughs> and then this is going to go over our background vignette piece here. I'm just going to use some 3M foam tape and cut a very thin strip and go around it and then tape it down to um, my, my arch panel there. So these are all of our layers. It was pretty easy to color in. And like I said, if you wanted to keep it with an elegant look, you wouldn't have to color it in at all. I think it'd be gorgeous with just the ivory color cardstock. So, so far we have four pieces. And then now we have, need a front piece and a back piece. So we're going to do a little bit more die cutting. I'm taking my panel here and I actually have to flip it around. Um, I have, you see my two tabs are on the top. They should be on the bottom. So later on, I ended up flipping it around. <laughs> I'm going to add the inside piece and cut out a window and then I'm going to remove my detail arch piece and then I'm just going to cut this out okay and then I'm going to do the same exact with this with um, my next piece of cardstock but just using the arch panel so we have these two pieces here okay now we have six pieces in total and then um, I think I'm going to use my distressed panel here as my very back panel. And then this one will be um, the first panel that we put into the notches on our side pieces. So we're going to set that aside and we're going to layer both of this frame and our back piece together. And then taking my scissors, I'm just going to trim off the notches. Easy peasy. You want to trim off the notches for your front and back panel. So those are our front and back, and then we have the four with the notches. And then we're going to layer them and show you what it's basically going to look like. We have our background panel, our star, our nativity, and then our sentiment, and then we have our very top frame. So we're going to set our front and back aside and then take our side panels. I'm going to use glue. You could use tape if you wanted to. I think score tape would work fantastic. Um, but the the um, part where we scored was a little bit on the thinner side and I think my score tape was a little bit too wide for that. So I'm just using my glue. A multimedia mat would work great for this too. I'm just taping down one of the side panels. And when you do this, you want to make sure that the top and the bottom line up with the top and bottom of your background panel. That way everything is nice and even. If it's crooked, I think your vignette will turn out crooked. Now, using the notches, I'm just going to tuck them inside the notches that were die cut on the side panel, the very first set. And what you do is you put them through and then you kind of do a little pulling on them so that those notches are um, pulled down to the very bottom of your, um, your panels. This way everything lines up beautifully. I'm going to do my nativity scene here. Just stick my little tabs in there and then pull down. And then we'll do our sentiment the same exact way. They fit in there easy peasy. It kind of looks like a little book, but it's super thin. It's so neat. Okay. Um, now for the, there we have our little um, scored panel or scored side here. I'm going to add some glue to it and then add our very top frame. When you add your top frame, again, you want to make sure that your top line is lined up with your um, book pages and then your bottom is too. Okay, this is what it looks like from the top view. Now we're going to do the other side. So I'm just going to fold it over, flatten it down, making sure all those notches are even and flat. And then we're going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to take my glue, add a thin strip to that score line. We'll add our back panel here. I'm just waiting for that glue to dry. And then we're going to do our next layer. Just tuck those tabs in there and pull down and then repeat the process. 
And then when you get to the very last one, the very last one will be your very top piece. We have that uh, scored line. Just going to flatten it a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of glue. You can see my little notches there. And then this one, all you have to do is fold it over and it should line up to that score line beautifully. Easy peasy. And it lays flat. I was so amazed. I think this will fit in an A9 envelope. Um, but this is what it looks like when it is fully opened. And I had um, distress oxide on my very back panel and that doesn't look very pretty to me. So I just die cut out one more back panel piece, cut off the notches, and then I'm just going to adhere that to the very back covering up my oxide ink there. And if you wanted to fold that over and create a card with a custom message in there, you could do that too. But it's so neat, huh? I just love that 3D look. I mean, it's like a tunnel when you look into it. I think it would look really pretty on a mantle or on somebody's desk. I think that would look really nice. Um, my holly leaves needed berries. So I'm using some gems from the October card kit. Um, they're blue and I thought they went perfect with the sentiment. But that's my project for today, guys, using the 3D Holiday Vignette Collection called The Grand Christmas Lattice Arch by Becca Feakin. I think it's gorgeous. And if you want to learn more about it, I'll leave links down in the description area for you. Thank you so much, guys, for stopping by. I wish you a fantastic day, and we will see you again soon. Bye-bye.